But a lot of times in our community, the girls like the pussy stunt. And if you don't know what pussy stunt is, is that pussy stunt is when a girl, you know, she's stealth. She basically plays herself off as just being a female, and the guy finds out later on that she's trans. Maybe she's had her sex changed. Maybe, you know, she in her mind doesn't feel like she should tell him. And then after a while, he finds out, and then the results are not that great when he finds out that, you know, in his mind, she's been betraying him and playing him. Is to be a female. So I just want to know, what are you all's thoughts about that? You know, I want to touch base this time. Um, just because genuinely, I've matured as a transsexual. I'm I'm, I'm a little seasoned, mm -hmm. um, and from my observation and what I've learned in being transsexual is um, when it comes to dating guys and being a little bit more serious and monogamous. I feel like it's not everyone's business mm -hmm. to know. But if you're considering a companionship, I think after maybe the first or second date, that's when you take the opportunity to be. Do you think that it's well, hold on, I want to join it. I feel like you see this is this is a reason why sometimes these trans murders are happening. Yes. A lot of men feel like you're trying to mislead them, and they feel like you're messing with their manhood. So with yeah. you saying that, honestly, I don't mean to wish this upon you, but you could be one of these girls that get you know caught up there like that because the guy feels like they put all right a date i took this girl out she's not even what i really wanted they feel like you try to play them so i think That's it's good to tell them as soon as they approach you i think you need to be proud of who you are and say listen i'm i'm a man i'm a man With what Gia says, I totally agree. Only the fact because we are human first. Yeah. And we have to have the opportunity to be treated as such. When you tell someone, but there's, hold on, No, 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 hold because on, there's men on, that though. treat you women like shit. Men, so you pretending to be an actual female. Yes, there's men that treat women yes. like shit. Okay, but there's men that beat women. So you pretending thoughts. to so, be biological female, it's what makes you think you're going to get better treatment than just being trans? If you let me finish my topic. No, I'm letting you finish, but I'm really strong about this. Because this is the reason why girls are getting murdered. The reason why girls are getting murdered because they're pretending to be females. Okay. And they're not, they're not embracing mm -hmm. being trans. That's that's the difference because I don't girl, see myself. Girl, you so girl. I don't I see myself. I love it. Point, I love it. You're very I like boisterous. It too, but so then. you're getting your point across, but I'm about to get mine too. What I'm saying is, I don't think it's basically a, a perpetration issue. I feel like, first and foremost, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. This is how I express myself to the world. This is how I've expressed myself to the world for quite some time. And I just don't feel like, say for instance, okay, me and a guy, just just for instance, my, on my way over here, I get off the train, correct? In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, right? <laughs> the guys are into it. You know, the guys are into it, which is perfectly They're getting fine. It. You know what I'm saying? A guy approaches me, and he was genuinely nice, genuinely a nice guy. You know, interested in all of this, of course, which is, I mean, definitely to, to flock to but furthermore it's it's um I don't know I don't I don't think that I'm necessarily perpetrating like he asked for my number you know I explained to him that I do have a lover you know I do have a significant other so for me it's it's it I don't get my thrills off of stuff like that you know what I'm saying okay, because I don't, he, I don't all right what if he what if he called you and you just met up a place and you just got into it and he grabbed you know, your okay, let's tell ya. And see, then that's, that's, that's said, the said pulled out a gun and said, You try to fool me. Wow. Boom. Jesus, mm. that's crazy. I never that, that's I mean, that's a possibility. That is a possibility, but also I feel like this is the way California. Yeah, it, it's so that's, it's that's very different. different race, hold on, hold on. Exactly. And <laughs> my type of aesthetic and, and genetically as a woman, I don't genuinely embrace the sexual feel when it comes to dating. When it comes to dating, I feel like there are steps, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have structure, I have standards, you know what I'm saying? I have morals, 
So for me, when I'm when I'm communicating with someone, I, I genuinely like to take it slow. You know, I, I don't kiss on the first date. I'm not your average girl. And that's what I think there's a difference between myself and a lot of other transgender women. Okay, they get more of their girls like, off of, you know, pretty much munching the tray per se as in like giving oral sex and him not knowing that's fun you know and i've had my share too but some girls get so caught up in that aesthetic that they don't really get the the, the actual point in time to realize that they can actually be women so you're saying that you would talk to a guy for months no i said two dates bitch this is oh, so okay. Juan, you actually had some opinions to say about because you were actually siding with gia on her opinion because i know personally you know you you don't the first thing that you when you meet a boy is like hey my name is Milan the transsexual that's not true. I don't do that yeah that's I not true that. yeah when so they what is me, your opinion I mean I meet guys and I talk to them give them my number and they don't know right off the bat that I am who I am yeah so at the end of the day I'm a human like Gia said I want them to get to know me for who I am if you automatically say hi my name is Ashlyn I'm a transsexual the first thing they're gonna be like Ew. whoa what the fuck or excuse my language. Okay. Be like, right. well, hold on. Well, but then you should have never dealt with that guy in the first place. That, you gotta understand. People gotta open up to it. This is new to people. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So if you get to know people first and let them know who you, because let me tell you, and you know Fox, I had a strong relationship with a gentleman that did not know, and, and we, you know, before we talked about sex or before we even had sex, that's when I told him my team, and it was up to him if he still wanted to be with me. But I wanted him to see my heart first. Right. You get That's what I'm saying? Supposed to be. So we still dated for a while after that. You know, we did have intercourse and stuff like that, but things went downhill. You know, obviously he wasn't ready. But I think it is important that they get to know who you are as an individual first. Okay. Not because once you put that stigma, I'm a transsexual. Because some people, they have different images mentality. Of, of what a transsexual is. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think negatively by nature because they're so accustomed to seeing Society. that street walker, that prostitute, that Jerry that, Springer girl. Yes, that. So it's like so there's a lot of stereotypes. And naturally, of what we look like. Or what they think of us as. Yeah. So naturally, when you put that stereotype or that title above yourself, they don't get the opportunity to meet, you know, Ashley Bree, the producer, the exactly. songwriter, the recording superstar. They don't meet yeah. her first. Yeah. They naturally think about that escorting Trent bitch that's sleeping with everybody's husband and so on and so forth. Can I say, you do, know? do you go up to guys and say, and no shade to you, but the way you're making it seem like, hi, I'm, I'm Ashlyn. I'm, I'm a trust, attorney. Do you go like, do you go up to people and be like, when you go for a job, hi, I'm Ashlyn, no, I'm a ex-con. Like, no, 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 I don't, but when a guy exactly. approaches me and says, damn, ma, you mad pretty, blah, 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 I want to wife you. I say, my name is Ashlyn. Do you know I'm a trend? Do you have, I always ask them this question. Have you ever been with a girl like me before? That's how I do it. And then they'll say either. If they say, what kind of girl are you? That's how I know that they don't know my, my, that I'm trans. So I tell them. And then most of, nine times out of ten, they are so like, they're so amazed by it that they want to still be with me. Okay. Some people don't give that chance to happen. They just automatically like feel like, oh, if I tell him, he's not going to want to be with me. I have so another thing I wanted to talk about and touch bases on is last year around May 2012, there was a transgender woman that was killed in her apartment, and her name was uh, um, Lorena Extravaganza. Yes, Escarola. Yeah, and she's still um, on fire. She died in a fire, and this has been a very controversial topic because of the fact that you know a lot of people you know believe that she was murdered. You know, well, and it was ruled as a homicide. It was ruled as a homicide. You you have some more insight on that, don't you? Um, actually, actually, both of us do. Um, the death was ruled as a homicide. She was set on fire, and um, they said that. But it, what what also was like real like disturbing was the how the media portrayed her. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think Janet Mock, the editor of um, People um, People's Magazine, yeah. she's transgender. She spoke at um, I think it was the Out Music Awards or the the Glad Awards. The yeah. Glad Awards. And she was, you know, talking about how, you know, they kept referring her as man and him and he wore female clothing. Um, she was basically everyone in the, her area where she lived in Brooklyn, Bushwick, they all like outed her as being this, you know, um, Woman that had promiscuous person, you know, yeah. and they never Different like really, in, we never had a chance to really get to know the real Lorena. It was all like she was just dressing up in women's clothing and, you know. 
having men in her apartment. That's what everyone had to say about her. Mm -hmm. And I would be, you know, so hurt in heaven if I looked down and people were talking about me that all I did when I was on earth was sleep with men. Mm -hmm. and wear women's clothing, you know? Do you think that's one of the bad rips that we have as trans women is that we're just like all escorts? Oh, yeah. Very I totally agree because to I try to steer away from that as much as possible because in society, I want to leave behind a legacy, you know? I don't necessarily believe that there are so many stereotypes for black men, for black women, and we've genuinely become a stereotype. Mm -hmm. And I feel like all four of us are trying to break that as much as possible. Yeah, and, it's also, so, it's so and also what I've noticed too is that being trans and trying to be the best woman that we can be, sometimes we may, you know, if you can get our heels and how we dress up and down, we, we kind of give off a sexual look because we want to be the best woman that we can be. We take it, transsexuals take it up a notch.